The Indonesian Education Attaché, Dr. Eddie Malatunam, on behalf of the Indonesian government has pledged to support the Bahasa Speaking Program in Medang and has donated a laptop, a projector and dictionaries to help students who are currently attending the Bahasa classes. The students consist of adult locals, mostly women, who are interested in learning the language to be able to communicate with the Indonesia people and gain knowledge on their manufacturing skills so that they can turn food like sago and other vegetables into noodles, flour and many more. The students' task now is to learn Bahasa by heart and have their passports ready before August to attend a trade fair in Indonesia. There are certain gates where you cannot uh, access with free visa because the system is not in uh, place yet. For example, in uh, Fanimo, get into Jayapura, we haven't set up the online system. And therefore, to get into Jayapura from here, you still need a visa. The Deputy Provincial Administrator, Paul Adam, who's also a Bahasa student, is encouraging interested locals to attend as a way forward in the national government's small-medium enterprise program. To, to the public, especially the women's group and youth groups, uh, those who are involved in the formal, informal sector to come and attend the class. The Indonesia Education Attaché also mentioned in his visit that the Tusbab Secondary School and the Holy Spirit High Schools in Medang have expressed their interests in including Bahasa classes in their curriculums. I had already follow up with Jakarta and then they will send a teacher trainer in Bahasa Indonesia for four months. That teacher trainer I have already planned to place him in here and then he will teach the local people that we will hire from PNG to continue teaching Bahasa Indonesia into these two schools. Rachel Shise, National MTV News, Medang.